NHL players will be allowed to use rainbow-colored pride tape on hockey sticks this season after all. Yes. The reversal of the ban comes after much backlash from the LGBTQ plus advocates. So how does this impact your perception of the NHL? Mel, I'll start with you. Ooh. Where do I begin with this? There's mm. a saying out there that says you can't be a little bit pregnant. Have you ever heard that before? Mm -hmm. <laughs> to me, that's applicable here. Why? Because you are either an ally and support a community, mm. or you don't. And to me, true allyship is you standing by a community not only when it's convenient for you mm -hmm. and your bottom line, mm. but anytime, especially when you feel the heat. So the league has been feeling the heat when they initially initiated this ban mm -hmm. on not only Pride tape, but any of the themed jerseys on theme nights. Mm -hmm. But let's be honest here, even though the military jerseys were part of one of those theme nights, that was pushed aside as well. Mm -hmm. But we all know the truth. Mm -hmm. You're not trying to get rid of the military Pride mm -hmm. nights, right? You're mm -hmm. trying to get rid of the LGBTQ rainbow at hockey games. And that's the part that really bothers yeah. me here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I do think, and I call out the very brave players who have been going against this ban. So Travis McDermott, I believe that's his name. Uh, Travis Dermot, 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 Dermot. Uh, mm -hmm. who plays for the Arizona Coyotes. He's been so far the only one to test the ban. And he put that pride tape mm -hmm. on his stick and said, come for me. And guess what? They didn't. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you something. What if they did enact a fine on him? I think there would have been so much backlash from the community that they decided to capitulate and say, you know what, keep the tape. Uh, just keep the tape. So to me, the most disheartening thing about this is what you have just said mm -hmm. to your fans who are part of the LGBTQ2S plus community and their mm -hmm. families, mm -hmm. the message you have just sent to the players who are in the closet and will now never come out, mm -hmm. and to all the rest of us who are allies. And I feel so disappointed that instead of moving the needle forward, you've just jumped back in time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I just before we go on, I just want to point out, uh, the NHL also needs to get themselves together because they actually have stick rules. And listen to this, this is a stick rule. It says that uh, adhesive tape of any color may be wrapped around the stick at any time for the purpose of reinforcement or to improve improve control. So Travis is not breaking any rules. He has tape and it can be any color. So the yeah. NHL, I think, really needs to get themselves together. And what has always bothered me is a performative nonsense that the NHL has been exercising, even when they decide to, you know, get behind the LGBTQ plus community. Because let's be real, we know that this is not exactly how everybody feels, but it sounds like it's corporate communications jargon, because we've all heard that before. And what I'm thinking about is like, okay, so if you guys are really on board, well, a few people were uncomfortable and you immediately scrapped everything, that means that you're ignoring the people who really have been feeling very uncomfortable for many decades in your same league. So which is it? I think they need to be honest. I would rather them come out and say, listen, we are a work in progress. We are trying. We know that we've had issues in the past. We're trying to get better. Instead of saying, hockey's for everyone. Well, that's mm -hmm. not exactly the truth, mm -hmm. is it? So I wish they'd just be more honest. And I think we would we would look at them differently if they were just being honest yes, about their sure. progress. Well, and also have some conviction, mm -hmm. yeah. right? Yeah. It sounds like that's what you're saying. Have mm -hmm. some conviction. Don't just say hockey is for everyone and not show it. Mm -hmm. And you know who has conviction? The NBA. Mm -hmm. yes. Right? The NBA encourages its players, there's a picture here, encourages its players to make social justice statements. They themselves have a social justice coalition. They love when their players wear these sorts of slogans on shirts because they understand the importance of letting their workforce speak, mm -hmm. letting their workforce be happy. They actually worked with voting officials. They have a social justice coalition to turn arenas into polling stations because yeah. they see the disenfranchisement that happens. Mm -hmm. So it's like the NBA doesn't need a slogan like that because they live it. Yeah. And and so to me, it's like talk is cheap. And, and Naomi, what do yeah, you think? Yeah. No, I just I can't believe we're having this discussion. <laughs> like, yeah. Why is there even? But mm -hmm. I mean, the way we're we're watching men punch each other in the faces, but then there's an issue about tape. Like it just feels very yeah. disconnected. <laughs> Free for all, like start decorating your helmets, just make it your own. Yes. It should be like Spider Man helmets and, and <laughs> Elmo. I don't know, but make it your own. Have a good time. Yeah. I just think that we're in a place right now that if there is a place that you can have a platform and make a statement, like Travis and uh, Connor McDavid mm -hmm. both are leaders because yeah. mm -hmm. they made statements in the direction that is of inclusivity, which I think is really important. Mm -hmm. Can Absolutely. I just shout out Morgan Riley of your Toronto Maple Leafs also on that? Yeah. Yeah. Speaking mm -hmm. out. Yeah. And I also want to shout out the WNBA, who were the, were the, the leaders. first ones the in the leaders point. in that movement yes. in the NBA. The women were always leading the yes. Once yes. again. Yes. Hey, 
there. What did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.